their host and I'm back with another Minute Man review. Uh, this time we're going to talk about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Last Ronin Issue 2. Two. Uh, so if you recall my review of the first issue, I wasn't that big of a fan of it. I felt as though it was too much setup and not enough payoff. And with all of the hype and anticipation that that issue garnered, it didn't really do it for me. But issue two is the exact opposite. It hit on every conceivable level, emotional, action, storytelling, pacing, everything was on point. So it's, I will say the exact opposite of the first issue and it and gives us just enough of what happened in the past to get us to where we are in their future. Um, and it, and it definitely, and they were very good at merging the three different art styles because in the book you got Kevin Eastman, you got Ben Bishop, you got the the main artist whose name I can't pronounce, but they, they did a good job at blending and, and melding all of their art styles, everything all together, which I found amazing. Good story, and I can't wait for the next issue to come out. Um, if I gave it a Drunk Iron Man right now, I'll give it a 9 out of 10 Drunk Iron Mans. So I'll go ahead and check that book out. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Last Ronin, Issue 2. All right.